Hi, Dr. Corey Mawson, looking your best. And today I wanted to answer a couple of post-operative questions that people have posed to me very recently. One of them was on a very specialized area of post-operative care that involves improving wound healing or blood circulation or the efficiency of blood circulation when people are healing. And there's a special process called hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBO, that many people have used over a number of years and are in many studies on wound healing. HBO requires that a patient go to a facility that has a what's called a chamber. And a chamber is now a sort of glass enclosed uh, box, if you will, or tube that one sits in. It's usually plexiglass, so you can see how it's got lots of air flowing. Some even have little televisions in them. And that chamber is enclosed and sealed so that higher atmospheric pressure can be generated, thus increasing the concentration of oxygen molecules in the chamber that when you're breathing them. Further, the chamber can be supplied by oxygen, so the normal ambient oxygen concentration, which in our environment is about 21%, can be increased dramatically by pumping oxygen into the chamber and then increasing the pressure. What this does for people is allows greater amounts of oxygen to be circulating in the bloodstream, which are critical to wound healing. And that's really where you see people with slower wound healing, commonly seen in diabetics or people who are smokers, uh, people that have poor, uh, poor vessels or heart disease, are all people who are likely to have or are at higher risk to have some slower circulation or wound healing problems. In those patients, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBO, might be a reasonable alternative or opportunity, if you will, for post-operative care to improve the circulation and thus wound healing. And we recommend this in a small percentage of patients. Now the hyperbaric chambers that I work with, there's one here in San Francisco and one in Marin County, one in the South Bay, all of which um, have the same type of facility, a very nice facility where you check in. I'll uh, prearrange that with the technicians there. And in patients, in the handful of patients that we see that have slower circulation, I'm very happy and encourage them to get involved in hyperbaric oxygen to get the best possible result. The treatment itself uh, is very comfortable. You sit in a chamber, it's a lot like uh, descending on an airplane. You feel a little bit of increased pressure on your ears and uh, you sit in there with the ventilation for usually an hour to an hour and a half. Some people sleep during the treatment. I think people can read or, like I said, watch television, listen to music, whatever you like to do. It's totally uh, painless in, in terms of the comfort level. It's uh, fine and once you get out of there, people feel refreshed. Now some people are using HBO as a routine part of an anti-aging program. There have been studies showing increased mentation and brain wave changes and other uh, sorts of things. Michael Jackson, in fact, whether this is good or bad, had an HBO chamber in his house that he treated himself daily with. So although I'm not recommending that for routine use, there are a lot of interesting applications to HBO beyond wound healing, which we recommend. So in summary, I just wanted to say that I think uh, HBO, or hyperbaric oxygen therapy, is an adjunctive procedure or intervention that we can do after surgery if people seem to have slower wound healing or slower circulation, dusky skin, things that we don't like to see in the recovery period, and we encourage people to seek HBO along with a couple of referral sources that we have. Um, I would encourage you to visit our website at www.mossclinic.com or uh, again you can see uh, our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Moss Clinic. Uh, there are links to uh, the HBO centers uh, we use there as well as some information on how HBO works and whether it's right for you and your post-operative care. Thanks again for your attention. This is Dr. Moss. I'm looking your best.